Which one is the best crankshaft for your Zubi? Yes. Here we have the Arrow billet crankshaft, the ZRP and the original Subaru Nitrate crankshaft that are all crankshaft for an EJ257 uh, with 79mm stroke but you can also use it in an EJ20 or EJ22 engine for a stroker engine um, so let's start with the original Subaru crankshaft. This here is a crankshaft, this is plasma nitrate, that's why it is so here black. Um, it is not a billet one, it is a normal uh, cast um, crankshaft, but we have with this crankshaft here um, a very very good experience. I will show you, but not the older ones, uh, the other ones are not... Um, cross-drilled and they are not nitrate that are um, heat treated. You see here the colors, that's uh, because it is heat treated. It is good but not so good like the nitrate one. The uh, surface is not so hard. So, um, yes, but we have also difference to the normal heat treated crankshaft. This crankshaft here is um, cross-drilled. The oil flow comes from through the case in the crankshaft and from the crankshaft this is drilled here through the big end bearing on cylinder one and then is here a complete hole so um, or a channel so that is the uh, the job for the big end bearing on cylinder one here it is the same like on uh, the first uh, bearing um, it is here cross drilled but then the oil flow here is a a drilled hole and here that means here is a channel and we have the oil flow for cylinder 2 big end bearing and cylinder 3 come only from from one come only from one bearing so when you have any troubles here or there's a, a little bit too much silicone and the flow is bad you have pretty pretty early uh, problems with the uh, big end bearing and then you have a knocking noise and then okay you know where the problem is <laughs> and um, the same is here at the uh, at the last uh, bearing here um, it is like at the front here yes so that is the original crankshaft one the older ones were well, wasn't cross drilled like this here it was not so good but that's okay the weight of this one here is they are heavy. Take a look here. Nine point three kilograms. So, next one. The material of the ZRP is an uh, forty three thirty. Um, it is also a billet crankshaft like the Arrow one but have a, 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 a lot of another oil channel design. It is a mixture from uh, this one and this one here. Yes, the ZRP crankshaft is uh, also a pretty good crankshaft. It is plasma nitrate too. Here you see the holes for the counterweights um, that reduce the complete weight of the crankshaft. But um, I will show you the difference between um, the oil channel design from here, from the arrow to the ZRP. It is not uh, drilled like the Subaru one. Um, we have here only one oil channel. And the main difference is, is that um, this channel here from the big end bearing on cylinder one goes straight in one way. I hope you can see it. There you see it. In one way to the big end bearing. That means that the oil flow is pretty straight. The third bearing here is for the oil flow for the big end bearing 2 and 3. That's also okay but not so good. That makes the build of the crankshaft much easier. Um, okay, the last uh, bearing here is uh, for cylinder 4. You see here when put it in, you see it there. So that means that this one these one crankshafts are pretty nearly the same from the construction and from the uh, style you build it or you, you drill it and um, 
I like it that it's uh, here with uh, this small, I don't know the name, help me if you know it, um, like this one here, the arrow one ha hasn't it, but you will see it why. Um, the weight of the ZLP is 8.2 kilograms, that means it is 1.1 kilogram lighter. So, one special thing on the ZLP, it comes with a billet CNC crank pulley screw. Um, it is a special treat, you see it. I don't know why they do that, but um, I think only the screw costs 50 euro. I, last time I need a new one. I don't know why they do it, but it is so. So, let's go to the next one, the, the Arrow one. Arrow has his own material for building this crankshaft, only the best, they said. It's made in Great Britain. Uh, the ZRP is uh, made in uh, China or something there, but uh, that's normal today. Uh, also in the high performance lines. Um, yes, the crankshaft. So. At the first uh, look, it looks nearly the same. You said, okay, crankshaft is crankshaft, but it isn't so. The main difference are the oil channel design, and I show you. You see here is a hole. Let's start on cylinder, big and bearing one. This hole goes straight. See, you see it there? Yes, you can see it right. Um, that means here is a complete oil channel. And this oil channel goes straight to this channel. That means that these two bearings are for the oil channel flow for the big end bearing on cylinder one. That's pretty good because when you have here a problem or here there's a little bit less pressure, it is also um, much safer like this if you have only one bearing brings pressure to the uh, big end bearing one. So. Yes, then you see here, this hole, it goes through this, here, like this, and, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that means here is a complete channel, like this, and the main bearing also, uh, the main bearing two, three and four, Send the oil pressure to one, two, three, and four. Means you have very um, constantly oil pressure on the big end bearings or in the complete crankshaft. That is pretty good for against any trouble with oil pressure or bearing problems or something like this. So, but no, that's not the end. Here you see. A hole again that's the same like this here's the oil channel and that's works like this the same so that means everything works together and is together with the pressure and I see that the surface of this material from this crankshaft is also I think it's, it feels pretty good this here feels a little bit like um, like a normal casting I don't know why it is so like this. Maybe it is casted completely, and then only CNC uh, machine. Um, but it feels nearly the same like the original one. And this is here complete uh, with the glut finish. And um, I think that with the oil channel design is the biggest pro of this uh, pretty expensive uh, crankshaft. But uh, when I see how it is machined, that's. Uh, it's normal that this so costs so much money. Um, here, let's check the weight. Yes, it is the same like the ZRP one. And another difference is here, you have here two uh, places for a cutter. That means um, when you install it uh, on a high performance race car with a sequential gearbox, the whole power when you shift is only on this hard small edge of this cutter and when you have two ones it is not so stressed yes um, i think that's why they do it like this um, in the past we have there are some problems with high performance cars with uh, the small <laughs> cutter right yeah 
Um, ah, and here you see the um, arrow crankshaft comes with a certificate like this here, and there are all all diameters and weight and position uh, measuring and uh, with the final inspection, of course, with the best measurement equipment you can buy with the Toyo. <laughs> And um, here's a balance uh, documentation, and the ZRP comes with this here and one or two stickers. Um, it's also good. I have never in the past uh, problems with the uh, ZRP crankshaft, and the price is uh, the difference. You can buy three three ZRP crankshafts. So that means I I don't want to say that everybody have to buy an uh, aero crankshaft for. 4000 euro um, but there are different and um, I really like the original EJ25 crankshaft the black one with nitrate um, because for the price something about 450 euro it is super and we checked the balance often in the past and we have never any problems when they come new from factory that they are bad balance or something like this um, so the price is top and good for 500 horsepower. If you want more, maybe a ZRP one. If you want to buy a high performed engine in a drag racing car or a rally or a race car, choose the Aero one. So, um, I hope this video was a little bit informative for you. I hope you enjoy it and um, see you in the next video. Ciao!